to my people. In conveying to you my greetings from the metropolis of the empire, you will, I'm sure, be gratified to know that I received a most hearty welcome from all quarters since my arrival in England. On Wednesday, last, the 27th June, I was honored with a special audience by His Majesty the King, and then received from His Majesty's gracious hands the signing of a Knight of the Order of the British Empire. I visited most important places in London, and I have studied with observing interest the system of organization for the preservation of the historical elements of the country. Games and sports play a most important part in the life condition of the people here, and in fact they are indispensable. I have been entertained at a good many places, and I've been kind of received by the directors at the head office of our local banks and firms and mining companies. By the kindness of the Right Honourable Judge Thomas, I've been showed all over the premises of the Imperial Houses of Parliament, and I watched with interest a debate in the House of Commons. I've also been kind of received by the Right Honourable the Secretary of State for the Dominions and the Colonies, and he showed keen interest in the affairs and problems of our country. The whole of yesterday, Thursday, the 20th June, was devoted to visiting various schools in London, namely elementary schools, technical and junior trade schools, and secondary schools, having already paid a visit to the Cambridge and Oxford universities. I have on the whole studied with utmost keenness the system and the art of learning which have made the British what he is today. I hope to be able to utilize the knowledge and experience thus gained to the advantage of my state and country. I'm sure that the sacrifice on your part will allow me to come to England will in the fullness of time be productive of much good in the development of our country. I have more than ever before come to realize that the responsibility which lies on the shoulders of the State Council in trying to connect the old and modern conditions of things is not a light one. And whilst agreeing and reaffirming the fundamental principles of a native government are unassailable, and whilst I shall feel proud still to help the preserving all of the customs and institutions, I feel absolutely convinced that the matter of, of our surroundings and environments, townships and villages, and in some other features as well, we must look forward to the conception and birth of a new era. I fully expect that it will be the duty of every patriot citizen to make up his due sense of responsibility and to play his part. I already given expression in certain quarters the views of my council <coughs> as to the vitality of the multifarious Restrictions affected the purchase with such communist weapons as Dane guns and Cap guns. I have equally expressed the anxiety of the state in regard to the increasing rate of consumption of gin and other spirits. I expect to return home shortly after my visit to one or two places and hope to meet you all happy and well. Long live Akima Bwaka and its people's paramountcy. I am sure you will be grateful to the company through whose kindness and generosity I am able to send you a message from here.